Well, it's July 7th. The corn right here is about four feet tall. Looks pretty good. I don't think Dad started planting all the way down there. I think it just, he started back here and it just took that long for the discs to fill up and start putting seed down. But uh, my corn looks pretty good compared to uh, some of my neighbors. We had a pretty nasty storm cell come through yesterday. And it uh, leveled quite a few acres of corn. Corn that was planted pretty early and uh, was close to tassel just lying flat as a fritter on the ground busted off at the just at the top of the roots and then uh, directly across the road from that there's some corn that's in tassel uh, standing up like nothing ever happened and I know for a fact that they're two different brands of corn so uh, I'm seeing just a couple of stalks right in over there that have fallen over. But uh, other than stock here or there that the wind tossed around, knocked over, it looks pretty good. And something else I forgot to point out is it pays to have a windbreak. A lot of those fields that the uh, corn got knocked over in the wind did not have a windbreak. I mean, it's just hundreds of acres just out in the open, not a single tree in them. I've got windbreak on, well, close on all sides, the east, and then even so, there's, there are some trees half a mile over there. So as far as windy conditions, we're not sitting too bad in this place. So I guess what I'll do is come out here and uh, do a more real-time update and then attach some, uh, some of the springtime tillage videos onto the end of these to uh, catch myself back up. So that's what I'll do now. Here's some uh, footage of chisel plowing of this field. Not sure if I did any on the middle one, other field back there. I know I chisel plowed some of the soybean ground. There'll be some Milo stocks in that in that video. So uh, yeah, like that's that's what I'll do. So here you go. Stop. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, the crimson clover is heading out. It's flowering. And uh, medium red clover is not there yet. But yeah, it's starting to get starting to get tall enough to do something with it before it gets totally out of control. Not so thick. And it's stripy. No, Dad tried to spread it with the uh, a spreader on the back of the two end, and you really can't see how white it's spreading. And he was spreading it in the low side of third gear, so I don't know how many RPM it was actually zinging it. The PTO shaft was actually spinning. So, uh, it really probably needed to be on the high side in second gear and then back to volume down. The big old machine working about a mile over that way. It needs it. 
it and it needs it, not in stripes. <laughs> Over the whole field. But, uh...
I literally just picked that chisel plow up out of the field. <laughs> Perfect timing. But it's not raining that hard yet. I'd see it over there coming this way. Yeah, probably not going to be able to do any field work for a little while. We'll just have to see what this rain does. Well, that did not go well. It's been so wet so long this clover is getting pretty dang tall and uh, it just wants to ball up and get hung up I have to try something else <laughs> 